everyone so today I'm filming a super exciting video part of my nasty hair I don't know what it is I went to the gym this morning and I was just too lazy to shower and I also have this really awesome um burn on my face so yeah if I look like a tomato that's why I went to the water park didn't wear sunscreen tbh not that smart of me but whatever Anyways, so I just want to say thank you right now as I'm filming this at 34 on July 8th we are 30 subscribers away from 2.5k which is literally insane because I just hit 2k last week and I just want to say thank you guys so much this is crazy and so I figured I should do another Q&A because last time I did Q&A I just hit a thousand and so that's a lot of new subscribers and you guys probably want to know things about me so a lot of this stuff is probably questions that you got or like answers you guys have already known but FYI a lot of this stuff is like how old are you how old is Salem what kind of horse is Salem and those answers to those questions are in the box of all my videos because they're the most frequently asked questions so if you have a disclaimer I'm bad at pronunciation so if I mess up your name I am so sorry please know I tried my hardest I'm gonna go ahead and start this so we'll start with the YouTube questions and then I'll head over to snapchat so the first question is from pets perfection and they said um, how much did you pay for Salem and we paid six thousand dollars for Salem I some people think that's like a very personal question I'm I don't care like we paid six thousand dollars for him that's how much my horse is worth <laughs> Annika Kulas said how old is Salem how old are you and what country do you live in so Salem just turned 14 on July 1st I'm 18 turning 19 on July 22nd and I live in Canada Gabby Mann said how did you get into riding in general as well as dressage versus other disciplines so um my barn that I originally was at for four years is actually down the street from my house and they had like a free lesson day where basically you just uh, donate to it, the charity that they were supporting and you got a free lesson and so we did that and then I started getting into it and then for about a year I only took weekly lessons and then I started riding three to four times a week and showing and so I got into it through that I was 12 and my mom rode as a kid so I kind of got into it that way and then as for dressage I was at a primarily dressage barn but I actually turned into a hunter um I didn't understand dressage obviously I just was like ooh, stick jump woo fun that's what you do when you're like a teenager right you're like thrilling so fun now I'm like old adult and I'm like mm, I'll stay on the ground I got into that um dressage basically a lot of you guys know we bought Sam as a jumper he doesn't jump he hates jumping he has really bad premature arthritis doesn't enjoy jumping we've discovered that after four years and so I got into dressage because I had it was either that or to go western and at the time I just decided to pursue dressage since he does have really good dressage um like family lines running through him um his dad was a really famous dressage horse so that's how I got into that and other than that I just started jumping at the barn I was at and so that's how I got into jumping. I still love jumping. Jumping is definitely where my heart is at. Hardy said why don't you get another horse that you can jump and so have Salem for dressage and another horse. Um, that is what we plan on doing. If you watched my first Q&A that was the original plan but unfortunately I'm in university. I'm only going into second year and I don't have one the time or the money right now to put into two horses. Um, selling Salem is never going to be an option. Um, so if we did we would have to get a second horse um, or at least another horse. Um, so that is the plan eventually like basically the plan is to get like either a three or three or four year old um, in the future th that is a jumper prospect and train that horse or just lease a like school horse like hunter been there a circuit kind of horse because I would love to get back into the a circuit and stuff like that and doing fun Trillium shows so yes for now it's just that money's tight you know I'm in university I can barely afford one horse so I definitely can't get a second one now but definitely in the future once money is a bit more stable Morgan Peck asked what is your dream horse and have you ridden Western I've ridden Western with Salem but like I've never actually ridden a real Western horse um, Salem occasionally like he loves barrel racing in like a dressage saddle around like all we did once was put up like three standards and he loves rail racing he loves that kind of stuff he does cool and stuff but I've never ridden him in like an actual um, western saddle or anything but um I really think he would make a really great western pleasure horse because he does the really great like hunter long and low frame um so eventually in the future I think I want to get a western saddle and do like western pleasure or like showmanship with him and my dream horse would either be I really want a Clyde's Cross. when we first started looking at horses before we got Salem I was like hooked on getting a Clyde's Cross, and I don't know I think they're the most gorgeous horses ever so either Clyde Cross or a like Bay Dutch Warm Blood. White said Andalusians or Arabians. I don't know because I've never ridden either, but I like the way Andalusians look, so they're pretty. And what breed is Salem? He's Trakaner Oldenburg. Holder asked if Salem has a stud. No, he's a gelding. And how long have you been riding? I've been riding 
I'm 19 and Sherwin goes 12. So seven years this year. That's crazy. <laughs> um, X show your colors. X said, did your did you name Salem or did he come with a name? He came with the name, but um, we could have changed it, but I chose not to because I'm a huge history buff. I'm really fascinated with Sam Witch Trials when we were looking at horses. So for me, it was like a sign of destiny to get Salem because his name was Salem, and at the time, I was reading about the Salem Witch Trials. So, and also Salem Witch Trials is like the devil and. Salem is like the devil so yeah no he came with the name I don't know where the name came from um and his show name for you guys who are wondering are, is Blazing Rio so like Blazing Fire and Rio I just liked it so um and what is one thing about Sam you wish you could change to be honest I want to say nothing but I think it would just be his anxiety um I'm a very anxious person so it would have been smarter for us to get a horse who was like a show horse been there done that kind of horse for me to show because I get really bad anxiety at shows and so does he, so it, we don't really help each other out. But probably for him to just be a bit more calmer at shows, like I wish he'd been to more shows as a baby so that he would be used to it and that I'd be able to enjoy showing him. Katie White said, what kind of car do you have? By the way, love your channel. Thank you, Katie. I have a 2013 um, SE Ford Fiesta SE model, which I don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure that means it's a fully loaded one. But I have a automatic car. I have mascara in my eye and it hurts so much. I've always wanted a green car, so yeah, Frank. His name's Frank. Frank the Green Ford Fiesta. <laughs> Samantha Jane Paris said, fave Instagram accounts. Any good smoothie recipes? Love you. Love you so much. Samantha's one of my favorite people in the world. I literally love her so much. So my favorite Instagrammers, so I'm going to assume I'm going to go with Horsey. So my top one is Samantha riding with CP, which is Sam Mantha, who just commented. her. I will link her Instagram down below. She has cerebral palsy, and she's literally just such an inspiration. And I really want you guys to go check her out, her Instagram account. It's literally so eye-opening, and I love her so much. She's such a sweetheart, and her channel is just amazing. Like, what she does is just, she's amazing. Next, um, Buckley Honey is Catherine Andrews, and she's a dressage rider from Ontario. And uh, she has, well, she rides three horses. She has Honey and Jazz which are her two dressage horses and she has Loki and literally I'm obsessed with her so you guys should go follow her channel down below and if you guys follow any of these Instagram accounts tell them I sent you because that'd be awesome um next is Christine Posner and painter dressage like your typical dressage accounts on Instagram next is Caroline McDonald which is one of my friends at the barn and she has a photography account so you guys should definitely go follow her I'm gonna put her awesome photography pictures so I would 10 out of 10 recommend following her um Stephanie Prince Equestrian Blitz Lizzie Knight I quest Lizzie Knight Eck She's a Canadian eventer, so obviously you gotta show your love to your Canadian people. She'll be eventing, and then eventing strides, which is Alexa Brez Bresnahan, and she's from Ottawa as well, and she is a photographer, so I will link her. She's an amazing photographer from my area, so you guys should definitely go check her out. Um, for Always in Infinity, because Leo was literally the cutest horse ever. Um, Top Talent Dressage is a European-based dressage video channel and they mainly post like CDI videos and it's just super inspiring and like they got those nice clips those like 30 40 second clips of, like FBI Junior and Young Rider Test and it's just like awesome and then Dressage Ponies which is Jamie and she's currently doing the I one with Charlie so I love all those accounts and I will link them all down below for you guys to check out so yeah and favorite smoothie recipes Ugh, I'm really plain and I have the same smoothie every time which is um Two bananas, a cup of strawberries, a cup of peach, a cup of spinach, spirulina powder, hemp hearts, chia seeds, flax seeds, and some water. Because I like my smoothies the same every time. But strawberry banana smoothie will always have my heart in the end. And then Christina Martins asked me a bunch of questions, and I love you, girl. She said, oh, one, why are you seriously the cutest thing ever? And aw, that's so cute. You're so cute. Love you. Two, what do you like to do other than riding? Um, to be honest, all I really do is work, so I gotta say work. I literally love my job, guys. Like, I love my job. Like... I love my job so much. Like, today's my day off and I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like secretly hoping my manager asks me to come in because I love my job so much. But other than that, when I'm not working or riding, um, filming YouTube videos, vlogging, and going to the gym. Um, what is your greatest riding strength? I think it's patience because the way Salem, like, we got Salem and like I said, I think I'm going to film a whole story on him. So if you guys want to see that, comment down below, like, my, like, riding story with Salem. But definitely patience. Like, there's, he's been really badly, like, abused by the bit and, like, by riders in the past. And I think that, like, me having the patience I have is, like, the key to success. And I'm just really proud of how far we've come on our own. I love you, girl. Huge congrats on your YouTube success. Thank you. And then Yami Bond said, do you plan on getting another horse? Answered this question earlier, but eventually in the future, not right now, for financial and for sanity reasons. <laughs> Down to what editor do you use? And I just use Movie Maker. What camera do you use? I film on my iPhone 6, but I will be getting the Canon G7X for my birthday. And then what is your favorite breed besides Salem bre Salem's breed? And I would say Clyde's Cross or Off the Track. I love OTDBs. <laughs> I'm gonna call the interactive video. How
Uh, Maria Blosier asked, what are you studying in school? So I've changed my major minor thing a thousand times, but as of right now, I'm in an honors bachelor with specialization in psychology and a minor in health sciences. Now we head into the Snapchat questions. I had to like put them in my notes because... I couldn't keep them. So Gabby said, "Love your. Uh, what do you feel your biggest writing flaw is? Love your channel, by the way. Love you. My biggest flaw. I think it... I kind of just like plodded around and didn't care. And now that like I'm actually trying to get somewhere, I feel like it's a bit harder because I wasn't so serious about it at the beginning. I really lost my position. We left our big barn. And for about a year or so, we were just at a like... We were at a big barn, but it wasn't a show barn, and I wasn't taking lessons because I didn't get along with the coach, and so I was kind of just doing it on my own, but, like, I wasn't being smart about it like I am now, and, like, now I'm still taking lessons with my coach, but before that, like, last year, I really lost my position because I kind of just, like, plodded around for a year and didn't really care, and, like, I lost my position, and so that was definitely my biggest flaw is that I've lost my position, which sucks, but, yeah. Laura said, how do you budget your money? And to be honest, I use this awesome app, which I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, but I just found it and I'm obsessed with it. It's called Every... Okay, we got a tap. We got a touch to unlock. It's called Every Dollar. So basically it looks like this and you get like your budget and then you put in your sections that you have to fill out, which is like, I don't know if you guys can see it. And then you fill out your sections and it's just like budgeting and it's super awesome. I haven't filled mine out for the month very well, but you can put like different sections in. So I have like board and stuff, but basically... The best way to budget, I find, is when I get my paycheck, I take out all my bill money right, right away. So, I got paid today, and I literally took out my board, I took out my car money, I took out my car repair money, and everything, and I just give it, I just pay that right away. And then whatever I've left is what I have left, if that makes sense. But just be smart about it, you know. And what is my dream job? My dream job is to be a physician assistant in the emergency room. A physician assistant in general. If you guys don't know what a PA is, it's basically between a nurse and a doctor. So you can work in like a like um, rural area as a doctor and you work in a hospital and do surgery and prescribe medication and all that kind of stuff, but you're not a doctor. And it's only two years of graduate school and then two years of residency, so it's shorter, but it's awesome and you still make good money and that's my dream job. Um, Autumn and those horses said, what's the worst fall you've ever had? Um, definitely the fall where I dislocated my elbow through a month about ago I'll link that vlog down below if you guys aren't aware um I basically was riding bareback and Sam spooked at something as I was getting on the mounting block and the mounting block flipped on me and he stepped on me and I dislocated this buddy three times and then she also said if you live in the U.S. what state do you live in I primarily live in Canada but I am a like double citizen thing and um, my dad lives in Texas so I'm also in Texas in the Dallas Fort Worth area and I will be there in the next month or so so yeah so horses are bay said um she said one why do you want to start why did you start riding but i already answered that and then she said who are your favorite people to ride with so like i said i read a small barn if you guys see my barn vlog i'll link that down below i'm like going on these shameless self promos right now um but we only have six borders and like six outdoor horses so to be honest my favorite people to ride with are the twins and they own ollie which is the paint Caroline and Sarah, I love them so much. Knowing me, who leases Oscar, which is the black and white paint, and Abdullah, which is my coach. I literally love riding with all of them. They're literally like my best friends, and I just love hanging out with them and being at shows with them. And so they're definitely my favorite people to ride with. Other than that, I haven't had any bad falls. Um, I've had like, that's the bad fall I've had. Mackenzie002 said, did you ever figure out what was wrong with your stomach? And we did. Last week I went back to the doctor and, um, Basically, they took a, I, last time I guys talked to you guys, I think they took a blood test and a urine sample and they couldn't find anything and then I went back again and said, look, it's not getting any better. And so they kind of came to the conclusion I did not get an endoscop, end, endoscopy, endoscopy, whatever that thing's called. I didn't get one of those and I didn't get a barium x-ray, but they concluded that I will like 99% have a stomach ulcer. That is caused by stress. You can also get a stomach ulcer from the pylori. Um, bacteria which I could have she thinks it could have been brought on by food poisoning um, and then I was just very stressed out for that month like I didn't have my car money was tight so and then um, when you're stressed you get hyper acidity in your stomach which makes the stomach ulcer worse so that's what they think and basically if you don't know what a stomach ulcer is it's when the thick layer of mus mucus that protects your stomach is reduced and then it allows the digestive acids to eat away the lining of your stomach and it's super painful and like I described it I described it as having like cramps all the time but like really bad cramps um and I lost like 10 pounds and I didn't want to eat because I was nauseous and like 
I had really bad acid reflux and heartburn and so kind of all that together they kind of concluded that it was most likely a stomach ulcer. Treat it. Basically I got um, a protective agents which basically protect the lining of your stomach and your small intestine such as Pepnobismol. H2 blocker for three days and a proton pump inhibitor for three days and the H2, H2 blocker prevents your stomach from making too much acid and then the proton pump inhibitor blocks the cells that produce acid so that I can grow my acid. That I can get my stomach good and functioning. I'm like pretty good now. I'd say I'm a 9 out of 10. I still have like my eh days but yeah, so that's what was concluded in this guy. X said favorite YouTubers, and I'm going to go with a favorite equestrian YouTubers. And um, so I have a list. I don't, okay, this is what happened. I'm naming, like, my favorite, my favorite. I have a bunch of YouTubers I enjoy watching, but I'm not listening to them all because that gets boring when you list, like, 25 YouTubers. So I'm giving you guys my favorite. There's, like, 10. We're going to talk about it. Number one, Tiff. Who doesn't love Tiff? Tiff Clack eventing, she's literally so sweet, and, like, I love talking to her. We talk a lot. It's really hard because of the time difference. But... She's so sweet and she's just like the sweetest person in the world and I want to come meet her and Bart so badly. But you guys should definitely go give her a follow. She's awesome and she posts really great Barn vlogs and literally I just love Tiff so much. Like I love her so much. Grace Barnett, Hannah Lucy. Then we got our so our great Canadian girls. We got Lauren McKinnon. We got Hey It's Maya. They're from Ontario. That's awesome. I live in Ontario. You live in Ontario. We should just be friends. I want to meet them so badly at like Trillium Champs or something. Yeah, it's awesome. And then there's also Imagine that Equine, which rides at their barn as well. And she has the cutest horse named Kingston, and he's so cute. And I love Kingston. Kingston is one of my favorite cities in Ontario, so, like, I just love her horse even more. Two and Taylors, they live in BC, and I want to meet them so badly. They're literally the sweetest Brianna and Courtney. They're so sweet, and their barn vlogs are awesome. And you guys should just definitely check them out because rumors the cutest horse in the world and I love their channel so much and they subscribed to me they were one of like my first 500 subscribers and I literally pooped my pants and fangirled so hard when they subscribed to me so yeah hey guys if you're watching this and we have Christina Martins which is one of my favorite like smaller youtubers she's literally the cutest thing ever and she makes a ton of videos and barn vlogs and she leases the cutest horse in the world so you guys should go check her out yeah this is gonna be the longest video in the world okay so that was it for snapchat Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed so much. Thank you so much for watching and asking me questions. Literally, I love filming Q&A's for you guys so you guys get to know me a bit better. And now that we're kind of growing a bit more on this channel, I figure I should probably update you guys on my life. And, you know, new subscribers can kind of hang with us and talk and learn all about me in Salem. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And I don't know what I'm going to film next. It'll probably be a barn vlog. But, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, I always answer my comments, so if you have ever have any questions, you can comment them down below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I can never remember where it is. I think it's on this side. If you're not already, because um, we're going to hit 2.5k and 30 subscribers, so I think you guys should be the one to make that happen. And literally, we're just like one big happy family who all love horses. It's literally great. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Thank you so much for asking questions and Snapchatting me. And I literally love when you guys Snapchat me and like tweet me and it's it's it warms my heart. You guys are like a family I never knew I had. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry this video is going to be literally 20 minutes long. I apologize. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys in the next few days. Bye.